This is Randy Thompson, and I'm coming to you live with Susan Faulkner Evans on Bo. We're working with two Cavaletti. With Bo, we've got them, you see, uh, horse broke the first one today, but we're working at a six, in, six foot, three inch stride for his walk so we can get him to engage more with his back end. He's going into first level now. That's it. Good, good. Get him to step up more. Good, good. Now keep that push behind. Good, Susan. Yes. Just feel like it. That's it. You get the feeling of the leg yield, and that really helps him get his back end underneath of him better. That was good, Susan. You're getting a different push now. Very nice. Yes. Good boy. And it's a great way to really, you know, get him, get him solid on that leg yield feeling too. So we're get, using the leg yield with his, with him after to get him to stay engaged a little bit more. Good boy. More forward. That's it. Now keep that feeling. Leg yield the other way. That's right. Keep more active with his left hind. Left leg. Left leg. Left leg. Yep. Start feeling his barrel too, because you can feel you go to the nudging with your leg. So now what we're going to do is we're going to isolate instead of doing the little nudge, nudge. You want to follow the movement of his rib cage, because that'll cause that hind leg to step under different. So think if your leg yielding to the right, you're going to do left leg now, now, now. Bump him with it down now, now. So he feels it. Good, good. And what this will do is give him that clean, longer stride that you're looking for. Good boy. And then we'll leg yield the other direction here. Good boy. That's it. Feel that feeling. Okay, now keep it. Keep it with a leg yield feeling. That's right. He's going to start dropping it right here. Hey, he didn't. That was pretty good. There, he's taking a shorter step behind right there. So by that point, you're going to be thinking you've got to activate the back end with something. Else. There, now he's stepping clear again. Do you feel the difference? Wait until you see the video. You'll see it's like those la the 10 steps. He stops stepping behind. Good, good. So our goal is for him to step this way every step. Good, he's starting to lose it here, so what can you do? That's right, right leg, right leg, right leg, right leg. Get it more active, more, more, yep. You'll get a little more demanding with your leg, that's it. Take your time. Good, good, now keep this feeling, keep the feeling. You're going to turn to the left. Tell me when you feel him dropping it now. That's right. So you're going to add the leg yield. feel him tap him with your stick a little bit and try to keep him a little bit more active when he comes around the corner. More. 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 That's it. That's it. That's it. There. There. Good. And he's going to be a little surprised. You can feel his tendency, like most horses, is to get a little shorter with his hind legs going around a corner. That's really when he's a little on his forehand. That's it. Get him more active. Every time you change directions, that inside hind needs to step under your seat. Good. That's it. Okay, now get the left hind active. What can you do to get that left rear leg active? Oh, good. Good, Susan. Yep, keep asking for more because that's what it's all going to be now. Everything is about getting him to step under even more. That's it. Good, okay, let's walk. And we're going to do some leg yields at the walk without going over the Cavaletti. That's it. Get his, you're going to the left, so get his right hind twice as active. You should feel like his right hind leg steps under your left seat bone. Good. Right leg, right leg. Oh, he's getting much better with his leg yields. Hold that left rein so that you can get him to stretch on the inside, the right side. That's it. Your left leg should be on. So on that leg yield, your, left, your outside leg actually comes off. Make sure both of your legs are on. That's it. Get him more active. And leg yield. Get him active with your left leg. More. 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 Left leg. Left leg. Kick him up more. Yep, he's not, he hasn't picked up your right seat bone yet. More. More. Tap him with your stick. That's it. There, there. Feel him starting to pick you up? That's it. That's it. That's when he goes against your outside rein and leg. Yep. Good, good. Left leg. Good, good, good. That's it. 
Good. Now, as soon as he comes out of the leg yield, what does he do? That's right. He falls in. So that's when your inside leg is coming off. So you've got to keep his rib cage out after the rib, after the, the leg yield. So I would go right into the shoulder in. You know, just bring your shoulder in a little bit. Yep, get him more active. You feel him taking short steps. That's where he needs to get more active behind. Tap him. Yep, put your whip on the other side. Might as well get used to it. Yep, get him on the right, right leg, right leg, right leg. Oh, <laughs> oh he knows the difference. Look at this. Ah, oh, Mr. Smarty Pants, isn't he? Good boy. Good, good. Now shoulder in right away so you can keep his rib cage out. Make sure he's on the inside hind. Bigger steps. Yep, add the feeling of the leg yield to your shoulder in, and that way you'll be able to keep him between both of your legs. There. Good, good. Now he's starting to use his shoulder different. That's it. Sooner with your left leg, right left leg. More. More. Use your stick. More. 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 Yep. More. That's it. You can feel he wants to take short steps. You've got to bring that rear end over a little bit more. That's it. There. If you want to pick up your right seat bone, he might have gone a little too far for just that one step, but then he straightened out. Good, good. That's it. Shoulder in. Thinking leg yield with your inside leg, so you keep him on the inside leg, but your outside leg brings his shoulder in. Outside thigh, leg, and rein. Good. Let's do two more, one on each side. Yep, get him active on the right. More. Sooner. Sooner. Yeah, he should be giving you the base of his neck already, so that means you've got to push that rear end over a little bit more. There. Feel him go against your rein? Yep. So tap him over until you feel him take a feel on your right, uh, your left rein. There, that's what he should feel for the shoulder, the leg yield. Good, good. Keep him against that left rein and leg as you do your shoulder in. Think leg yield with your inside leg just to keep his barrel over. Outside leg and rein, tell him where to be. Good, more activity. One more leg yield at the walk. Start preparing here. So here's where you need to start giving him gas because this is where he drops you. Good. Okay, add the gas so he picks up your left seat, right seat bone. That's right. He should go against your right rein. Get him against your right rein. More. Tap him until he goes against your right rein. Tap him with your whip and your leg until he goes against your right rein. More. 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 Yeah, he's got to stretch. Yep. Got to add the stretch to it. Good, 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 good. There. Feel him going in your right rein. If he's not against the outside rein and leg, it's not a real leg yield. Good, good. Okay, let him have a little walk break one time around, and then we're going to go into the trot. That was good. As he's getting more comfortable moving his body over. Well, it's hard for him. He says, oh, man. <laughs>